Hey guys, how's it going? Kuperian here. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a different type of video. Yes, it's going to be Hearthstone. Yes, it's going to be a little bit of theory and numbers and stuff, but it's more abstract. I want to talk about um, basically how much money people have spent on Hearthstone. This is certainly inspired by a really interesting Reddit post that had a lot of votes. And uh, before you know, I talk too much, I wanted to show you guys here. So this, this is the result of a poll. This is the biggest poll that I've seen in recent times asking how much people have actually spent on Hearthstone. And you can kind of get a pretty damn good idea of the breakdown. So. For those that are really new, Hearthstone is essentially a free game. If you make a new account, you get a free arena run, you get a bunch of free packs, you get a lot of gold that you can use to do more arena runs or get some more packs very easily at the start from like disenchanting one card, from doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, beating all the expert AI. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. There's a lot of content that you can explore uh, without paying anything, but if you want to continue paying nothing, um, you have to be pretty good at arena if you want to play arena for nothing. Or two, you have to be satisfied with playing shitty decks and constructed. Or three, you're going to have to work towards like a net net decked kind of mech mage or face hunter shit and then you have to be okay with playing that for a really long period of time because accumulating gold through constructed is really slow because doing dailies a whole bunch of times isn't really the best thing ever so that's kind of how it works now i've seen some people with uh, strategies who don't really want to pay blizzard any money for hearthstone uh, have like multiple accounts on one account they play like a face hunter on another account they play a mech mage they do you know dailies twice do all that kind of stuff yeah it's a free game and i think for the free part that is offered by hearthstone which is most of the game for most users for me it could be all the game because i do play arena as much as i want for free technically is amazing Okay, so don't don't get that wrong. But some people, myself included, pay a lot of money to Blizzard. So how much money? Let's go through the poll here again. So most people pay nothing. But a lot of people pay, you know, quite a lot of money. So the second uh, most voted on range is the 101 to 250 dollars. And all the way at the bottom, you guys can see that 4% of players pay over 500 dollars, uh, have paid over $500 to Blizzard for their Hearthstone adventures. Now, I did a little bit of math. It's a little bit rough and it's not appropriate. Uh, the reason it's not appropriate is while in the earlier ranges it kind of is appropriate, I uh, multiplied the average of the range by the number of votes. When it comes to 500 plus, I just multiplied 500 by those number of votes. That's certainly not appropriate because while it may surprise you guys, some people spend thousands of dollars on Hearthstone. In fact, there was a comment here that I thought was really interesting. Um, so some some player, uh, True Valhalla, said he spent fourteen hundred dollars. No regrets. It's almost the only game I play now, and that's that's cool to me. But uh, what's interesting is surely you have all the cards now, right? Nope. So yes, if you uh, if you play not so well and you want this and you want that and you want it now and you don't want to wait you will actually have to pay quite a bit of money to Hearthstone. So that's that's actually the state of the game. So it's a little bit shocking. And because there are people, there are quite a few people that are in this category, um, doing that kind of estimate across the polls is not really the most appropriate, but I came with a number and it's at probably at the very least, let's say 110, it's like 113.6 is what I got. Let's say 110 is the average player's gift to Blizzard for playing Hearthstone. And uh, according to uh, Blizzard, there are 20 million players. So if you multiply those up, they've basically made eh, a couple bill, a couple bill off, off Hearthstone. So Blizzard's doing all right making card games these days. And that's good to know because, well, I enjoy Hearthstone and, well, I want to see them continue developing the game and coming up with expansions like we're getting right now. And the reason I want to bring up this specific thing right now is there's a lot of players who don't really like this type of expansion released content. So when it comes to content like GVG, players who just do arena all the time and get like one pack at a time, eventually they get the cards they want. And if they're not too ambitious, they just want to play a specific deck that maybe doesn't require that much dust or that much cards. Um, well, 
you know, they can do that pretty easily by just grinding a few packs out through dailies or through arena, disenchanting the cards they don't need and creating the ones that they do need. But when it comes to content like Nax, content like we will have now with Blackrock, they don't actually have the option to access those cards. They can't even craft them until they buy the wings um, of the PvE content, basically. And I think the PvE content, in terms of quality, is actually the best in Hearthstone. I think the realm of PvE content is yet to be fully explored, and so far with Nax, I have been blown away, and I think Blackrock will make you know, quite a showing in this regard. But still, the players who don't want to pay, and that's, that's 28%, and don't have that amount of gold, it's going to take them a while. And for them, it's not really the most pleasant release. So it's a little bit of a bummer for them. And I don't really know how Blizzard will fix this. I don't really know how Blizzard, in the long term, will let players um, you know, catch up. So a new player, for him to compete, to get the Nax Wing, to get the Black Rock stuff to get you know some gvg packs to get some class packs it creates quite a big mess and uh, i think probably in the future as more expansions roll out blizzard will have like bundle deals on like all the old pve content or something like that but my guess is we're going to see at least another expansion after blackrock until that becomes a reality so now, I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, are asking, how much money have I spent on the game? So this is this might be a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure it's accurate. So I want to tell you guys, when Hearthstone was originally released, when it was originally released for beta, which is the day I started playing, of course, um, I decided that I did not want to pay for a single pack. And um, I did end up paying for Hearthstone because I tried a lot of dumb stuff in Arena and I didn't start with gold and well I thought it was the best way to learn. The best way to learn was to do stuff that people who like it wasn't like the next step. So you know you learn something and you kind of work off of that. I thought it'd be more interesting to just like really branch out immediately and use cards that you know suck just to test them. I kind of do that these days too, but originally I stressed this, you know, greatly. And uh, well, I lost a lot of arenas. I did really poorly um, early on, and I think I spent about $30 on arena fees. So if you guys remember quite some time ago, I'd be like, oh man, I sucked that run. Time for another, you know, $1.99. And uh, yeah, that amounted up about 30 bucks as it turns out. But there was a reset in uh, in closed beta, and during that reset, I actually uh, had just come to the point where I had all the cards I wanted. I had most of the legendaries, two copies of all the epics I wanted, all the rares, all the commons, of course, um, and that's when they decided to pretty much do uh, a reset. So that was a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, I didn't have some shitty cards like Nazdormu, but basically anything you'd ever want in a deck, I had, and I earned it, and it was basically from those $30 that I had spent really learning Arena. So to give you guys that aspect, you can play the game to the extreme sense, but you have to play it a lot to do all the things you want, to have all the things you want in Hearthstone. So after the reset, uh, the three weeks after that, I was supposed to play at BlizzCon. And uh, well, I needed to test all the decks. I wanted to have all the cards so I could do all the testing because I was actually not a constructed player. In fact, I've never really been a constructed player until these guys basically made me one. Um, that's basically why I don't do events and that kind of stuff these days. But still, uh, I decided that I needed all the cards so I could actually test all the cards. And at that point, because I was invited to BlizzCon, because I wanted to, to do as well as I possibly could, I didn't want to you know, have some bullshit excuse that like, yeah, I, I didn't have this deck because I didn't have those cards because I didn't want to pay for those cards and I couldn't earn them in time. You know, screw that. So I ended up just buying all the cards, and at that time it cost me about 500 bucks. So I spent 500 bucks then, and uh, just the whenever amount of value, I think I spent about 100 bucks just buying a pack here or there. So people like, just get 40 packs, or some sometimes I'd get like a donation, like please buy packs with this, so I just buy packs. I think it's about 100 of whatever. I spent $20 on next. I didn't really want to hurt my gold fund, even though I could afford it immediately at the time. I just decided I'd just give him 20 bucks, I could prepay it, so why not? And I uh, spent, I think I spent 210 on GVG. I bought three times 
the uh, is it sixty packs? Sixty packs for seventy bucks, something like that. I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, so I've spent about eight hundred and sixty dollars on Hearthstone, which I'm sure will really shock some of you guys. But I want to tell you guys that I've spent more money on other games. Uh, I think I've spent about nine hundred to a thousand dollars. Uh, playing World of Warcraft. I've played for about five years, and if you guys are curious, there's a bunch of YouTube videos with that content, so how about that? Um, but actually, the most money I've ever spent on one game is Dark Age of Camelot. And Dark Age of Camelot, I did a little bit of math, and I think I spent about $2,000 on that game. And uh, largely, that is the case because uh, well, I was playing it for about seven years. Uh, I only calculated for six because it was kind of on and off. Uh, it, it was a su subscription game, so it was like 14 bucks a month. And it was a game where uh, I played using multiple characters. Uh, so I had my main character and I had a bot, but not like a bot like you guys know these days, but it was like a buff bot. So you'd ma basically make a class and this class would just buff your main character so he'd be super strong when you'd run around the world and do stuff. And sometimes I had like a third character. So yeah, it adds up. Gaming is not really the cheapest of things, but it's certainly the best, certainly the most entertaining. And well, while it sucks for some of you guys who don't really want to dish out the monies for the Black Rocks, I think it's not really too big of a deal. So. That's how it is. Interesting stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed my little review, my little analysis of what's going on. And, well, yeah, man. Blizzard makes a lot of money off Hearthstone. How about that? Enjoy it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.